Here is the first Delta printer of our channel, the FLSUN T1 Pro. We had some time to test this printer and all I can say is that we are amazed by this Delta printer. Many manufacturers make bold claims on print speed, flow rates and etc. That's not the case with this FLSUN T1 Pro. Their claims were actually true. The claimed 1000 mm per second print speed is real. Although, do not expect it to output high quality prints at that speed. Real world and high quality print outputs are possible around 350 to 550 mm per second. They also claim 90 cubic mm max flow rate. From my tests, I could manage to get it up to 99 cubic mm max flow rate. So far, their claims are on point for sure. As you can see, this printer looks astonishing. T1 Pro is equipped with a LED light, a camera, dedicated CPAP module, a filament runout sensor, fully automated bed leveling, input shaper, and it runs on clipper. The build volume is 260mm x 285 but goes up to as a cone shape to 330mm in max height. The hot end can go up to 300 degrees Celsius and the max build plate temperature is 110 degrees Celsius. If you happen to follow the trend of 3D printing, nowadays it's all about print speed whilst keeping the print quality. And I think that the T1 Pro does a great job at this. Of course this is not a Corex Y printer and therefore the kinematics system can reach highest print speeds without too much effort. The dual gear extruder helps to keep up with the high speeds this printer can output as well. Introducing PCBWay.com, a place to find a solution for all your electronic needs. PCBWay is the leading store in making custom PCBs, CNC millings, 3D printing and much more. Get an instant quote for your custom PCB right now. You can also participate on the 7th Project Design Contest to win amazing prizes. Check out PCB Way website to find out more. Building the printer was fairly easy and didn't take more than an hour to finish. And Ethelson has videos on YouTube that are really easy to follow whilst building it. You can find that video in the description below. I printed a several things with this printer including a 10 minute pre-sliced benchy which came out given the print time pretty good although it had some stringing as you can see that might be due to a wet filament other stuff I printed are these buckets which were printed in 1 hour and 10 minute per piece when pushing the print time you do get much more artifacts on the outer surface Here are the test prints for the maximum extrusion which go all the way up to 100 cubic millimeter. This extruder is a beast. I have never seen any extruder extrude this much before. But keep in mind I did have to push the temperatures a bit higher to achieve these results, to be exact 240 degrees Celsius on a hyper PLA from Sunlu. If I should mention the noise levels of this printer, then I'll have to say that it is pretty loud, even though Ethel Sun advertised this printer as a maximum 55 decibel noise level. I kind of damaged this side of the enclosure because at the initial assembly I had kinched the LED light cable in the frame and was too lazy to take it apart so I thought that taking this part off would give me access to the kinched cable but I was wrong. In the end I damaged this tin metal and yet I had to disassemble most of the printer to get to the LED LED cable. In the end it all worked just fine. I do want to mention that this printer is for its price range a very good buy especially if you want to print in one color. I mentioned this because there are other printers in the same price range 
who do multicolor printing. So if your priority is to print in multicolors, then you might want to look at different brands. For the future reference, I think I will mostly use this T1 Pro for fast prototyping. Crank up the speeds and don't mind the artifacts on the prints. And for the initial printing, use another slower printer. What was a big surprise is finding out that the FLSun Slicer is sharing the same interface as the Bamboo Slicer. Since I really like the Bamboo Slicer, I love the interface of FLSun Slicer as well. It's like a dialed down version of the Bamboo Slicer. But since I already know how to work with the Bamboo Slicer, it was very easy to use this one as well. So big thumbs up for FLSun there. If you're in the market for a new fast printer, for fast prototyping, this printer is one to consider for sure. I want to thank FLSun for making this kind of affordable machine for the market. The niche stuff like CPAP is already included in this printer. Since this printer is also running off Clipper, you can make lots of mods and changes to it as well. I think that is also a big selling point, but it is only true if FLSun gives root access to the device. From what I know, for now it is impossible. So guys, what do you think of this beast of a machine? Would you get one? If you do get one, what would your use case for it be? I hope I could give you enough useful information so that you can decide whether you will or will not get one. As always, our testings and findings were unbiased. If you haven't already, consider hitting the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up to help our channel. Keep safe and bye for now. Bye!